Hi, Dan Schlumbecker, Peak Performance Training. Today we're going to look at three different single leg unilateral movement patterns as opposed to our normal bilateral dual leg movement patterns, okay? And the reason we're going to focus on a single leg is number one, we want to protect the joints. We want to make sure that we're firing everything that surrounds the ankle, knee, and hip. Protect that. Making sure we maintain trunk stabilization as the challenge of balance is now a little bit harder. And then what we also want to do is we want to make sure we avoid the imbalances that very often happen as a result of dual leg, okay, bilateral training. So we're going to start with single leg box step up. I'm going to get one leg up on this box, foot right in the middle, toe straight ahead. I'm going to get this back leg also in line. And what I'm going to do to focus on this exercise, make sure that the drive all comes from this top leg. The top leg drives the entire exercise. So my posture is good. I have a little forward lean. And my goal is to try to look at a straight line from my shoulder down to my heel. All right, I'm going to use all of the power from my top leg to drive up. Get in a balanced position. Front toe pulled up. Touch back down. Drive up. Touch back down. Now at this bottom position, I'm not shifting my weight back. I'm keeping the majority of the weight on this top leg, top leg, driving up, pausing for a second, driving up. I want everything to come from that top leg. We absorb a little bit on the back leg and we come down, stay in line, keep the trunk stabilized. Next one we're going to look at is we're going to get a fixed distance away from this box. We're just going to use the width of this foam roller in front of the box. What we're going to do, this is an 18 inch box, just so we know, we're going to work on a single leg squat now. So what we're going to do is we're going to get heel right against that foam roller, and then what we're going to do is we're going to get in a single leg stance position, drive back like we're sitting into a chair, and then lightly touch the box, just a little kiss on the box, come back up. Don't bounce off of it, control it throughout the entire pattern. So I'm going to get on one leg, single leg stance, arms out to counterbalance, I'm going to sit back, lightly touch drive straight back up. Lightly touch, drive straight back up. Again, I'm not coming down, sitting, falling backwards, losing my stability throughout that movement. I want to maintain everything on the leg that I'm training. And then I'm going to switch to the other side. The last one that we're going to show you is a single leg RDL. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this out of the way. All right, we can do this without a dumbbell. I'm going to grab a dumbbell today. I am just going to grab a 20 pound dumbbell. We can use this with double dumbbells or we can just do uh, one at a time. So what I'm going to do for this exercise is show you that I'm going to get in to a single leg pattern where I'm standing on my left leg, I'm holding the dumbbell in my right hand. And what I'm going to do from here is I'm going to lead with that back leg as I start to tilt up and then drive back up, close the hips out. Okay. My back leg leads the way, hips, shoulders stay square, drive back up. So everything from my heel to my head stay in line throughout the entire pattern. Work on these single leg movements. The strength is going to go through the roof. Any imbalances you have from side to side are going to start to balance themselves out so we can focus on those and not dominate with the stronger side. Take these. We'll add some more next week. Sorry I'm a day late. We'll see you next Thursday. Have a great weekend.